the term elective egg freezing is used for uh, the process by which women can freeze eggs to use in the future. There have been studies done looking to see at what age it makes the most sense financially um, and logistically to freeze eggs, and that has to do with population studies looking at, to see at what age do women usually get married. So most women are married before age 35, so when we talk to women about the likelihood of needing to use eggs, probably women in their mid-30s who still have pretty good egg quality, who typically still have good numbers of eggs, um, are good candidates for egg freezing. Some women really don't become concerned about their fertility until they're in their 40s, and at that point, egg quality is really quite a bit lower. Often the number of eggs that we can freeze uh, per, per attempt is lower, so that's a less optimal time. Elective egg freezing uses the same technology we use for in vitro fertilization treatment. So women are on about two weeks of injected fertility medications. These medications override the ovaries' propensity just to mature one egg at a time. We hope that we'll be able to obtain up to 20 eggs with one IVF or egg freezing treatment. Um, the process by which we monitor the ovaries involves transvaginal ultrasounds where we watch the egg development in the ovaries. Although we can't see an egg, we can see a fluid structure called a follicle that grows around the egg. And we measure estrogen in the woman's blood because as the eggs mature, the cells around them produce estrogen. So we have an idea of what the best time to harvest those eggs uh, is. And the eggs are retrieved or harvested using a transvaginal ultrasound guided needle procedure done under an intravenous anesthetic. So women are not intubated, you can't do a major surgery with this, but, but you're asleep. Uh, and the procedure to remove the eggs takes 10 to 15 minutes. Once the eggs are retrieved, they're frozen and put into storage. The pregnancy success rate with frozen eggs de is determined by the age of the egg. Studies have shown, and our internal data shows, that we expect about 85% of the eggs that are frozen to survive freezing, and about 70% will fertilize. But the quality of the embryos is related to both that particular woman's egg quality, which we don't know in advance, that's determined later when the eggs fertilize, when we see what kind of embryo development we get. The age of the eggs is what's going to determine the percentage of embryos that are chromosomally normal and capable of sustaining a pregnancy. And that's something that we can estimate based on data, but we don't know for the individual woman. How many eggs a woman freezes really depends on what kind of odds of pregnancy uh, make her comfortable. So for example, because the younger a woman is, the higher the chance that any one egg will create a baby, a younger woman needs fewer eggs per pregnancy. So as an example, based on the study that was done in our group, a woman who is less than 35 has about a 90% chance of having at least one child if she has 20 eggs frozen, whereas a woman who is 40 only has about a 50% chance of having one or more children from 20 frozen eggs. We have developed an app where women can input their personal data to help them assess what their likelihood of uh, pregnancy is based on the number of eggs they've had frozen. I think for many women, freezing eggs is reassuring because even though you can't control when you meet somebody, you can control your ability to freeze eggs for the future.